In this video, we have a double integral, and we are going to sketch the region of integration r, and then we're going to write both orders of integration, so dy dx and dx dy. Let's start by sketching the region of integration r. So we have the x-axis and the y-axis. And notice that this is the top half of a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. Um, to see that, just square both sides. So if you square the left-hand side, you get y squared. When you square the right-hand side, the square root goes away. So we end up with x squared plus y squared equals 4. So that's a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. So here we have positive square root 4 minus x squared. So it's simply the top half of the circle. So now we'll connect the dots. And there is the top half of our circle of radius 2. Another way to do it is just plug in numbers. Like if you plug in 0, you get 2. So you see you're up here. And if you plug in 2 and negative 2, you end up down here and down here. OK, so now we're going to find um, the first uh, integral. So it's integral, integral, x squared e to the x. And we'll do dy dx first. So the key is whenever you do dy dx, you have to write a vertical rectangle. And because you have dy, you always have functions of x. Okay, So it's always dy means you have a vertical rectangle and you have functions of x. So the topmost function is this one. That's y equals square root 4 minus x squared. Square root 4 minus x squared. And I forgot to mention this, the bottom half is uh, the bottom part is y equals 0, right? That's, that's this line here. forgot to mention that. So it's always top and bottom. So top minus bottom uh, whenever it's a vertical rectangle. And then we just integrate from negative 2 to 2 to get the rest. OK, so that's the first integral. Let's do the second one. So I'm going to redraw the picture. So here's 2, here's negative 2, here's 2. And there's our circle, the top half of our circle. And here's y equals 0. Okay, and we're going to do the x dy this time. So we have x squared e to the x dx dy. So whenever you have dx dy, um, dx comes first, you want to have a horizontal rectangle, right? Because uh, you have to have functions of y. So now we have to take our equation and we have to solve it for x because we need functions of y. And that's because we have dx. We're integrating with respect to x. So we square both sides, and we get this. And then we just add the x squared, and then solve for x. So subtract y squared. So x squared is equal to 4 minus y squared. When you take the square root, you do get a plus or minus. So plus or minus the square root of 4 minus y squared. So now we have x in terms of y. So this piece here, this is the square root of 4 minus y squared. And this piece here, this function here, is negative square root 4 minus y squared. So when we had a vertical rectangle, it was top and then bottom, top minus bottom whenever you have dy. Whenever it's with respect to x, it's right minus left. So the rightmost function, this guy here, goes up top. So this is square root 4 minus y squared. And the leftmost function, this one here, goes on the bottom. So negative square root 4 minus x, y squared. And then we integrate from 0 to 2, from 0 to 2. So that's it, right? So whenever you have dy dx, right, whenever dy comes first, um, you have a vertical rectangle, and it's always top and bottom, so top minus bottom. Whenever you have dx dy, in other words, dx comes first, it's right minus left, and you have to have uh, functions of y. I hope that made sense.